Street gig, including the people who didn't realise that was about to happen. Good evening. <laughs> so, uh, welcome. Uh, this is our first gig uh, since the Comedy Festival ended. Uh, so, I will be continuing my string of being incredibly funny without being nominated for any awards. Aww. Not bitter about it, not bitter about it. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, the other thing that's worth pointing out, ladies and gentlemen, is that at last night's gig, Alan very nearly ended up in a threesome, so that's the, that's the, that's the yardstick, ladies and gentlemen, for what we expect this evening now. Uh, good, right, we're not, as always, uh, let's just cover this. Who's seen improv before? Yay! Who's never seen improv before? Yes. <laughs> and see how less happy they sound. <laughs> Good, so basically what everything you're going to see this evening is completely made up. We have no script, we just have a set list of what games we're going to play. Uh, we're going to need That's different... Nobody's saying you that Oh no, no, not you. Us. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> cool. That was good. Even, even I had heart palpitations at that point, so I'll be honest with you. Um, Literally just walked in and then I grabbed him on stage, brilliant. Um, so basically, uh, we're going to need lots of different suggestions from you because all of our ideas tonight come from you. So if I needed a movie genre, somebody would shout, sci-fi and horror. Sci-fi and horror, always those two. <laughs> uh, if I needed a colour, somebody would shout, uh, beige. Blue, that blue is a colour now. Uh, uh, if I needed an emotion, somebody would shout, enraged. Uh, enraged. <laughs> Last night, last night somebody misheard the question and shouted bow. Um, <laughs> interesting. Um, um, good. Uh, so that's basically what's going to happen. Uh, I can't do it on my own, ladies and gentlemen. I'm joined by other people as always. Uh, Mike is having a lovely time in Scotland, as some of you were aware, so he's not here. So please welcome the other regular player, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alan Smith. job in the last few days, so well done him, ladies and gentlemen, Douglas Dean! Yay! And making her debut for the very first time this evening, welcome our very new player, our demi-guest of the evening, Miss Hannah Abbott, ladies and gentlemen! Yay! going to be called Die Story. In this game, uh, they're going to have to tell a story, uh, and they're only going to be able to do so when I'm pointing at them. Uh, if at any point they mess up, I'm going to need all of you to shout, Die. <laughs> okay, it's a very straightforward rule. Basically, if we could have one quick practice of that, please. One, two, three. Die! <laughs> this side of the room are far more aggressive than usual. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a shame. Uh, so, Basically, if they, when I, they can, as I say, they can only talk when I'm pointing at them, so if at any point they fail to carry on from the exact place where the previous person left off, you shout, DIE! Die! If they make any grammatical errors, you shout, DIE! Die! If they hesitate particularly obviously, you shout, DIE! If you just don't like them, you shout, DIE! No, not up to you. Um, <laughs> They're here and you'll have to live with it. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to need from you, ladies and gentlemen, to begin with is I'm going to need a celebrity, please. Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. Uh, we've, we've done Billy Connolly before. Uh, Pierce Brosnan, lovely. Uh, can I have a fictional character? Not James Bond, obviously. Dobby. Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> Already, this is an amazing film. Um, lovely. Pierce Brosnan and Dobby. I need something they're looking for, please. An elephant. An elephant. Any particular kind of elephant? Pink. A pink elephant, thank you. <laughs> Why? Sure, Wasn't really expecting that to be the answer. But, uh, uh, they're looking for a pink elephant. Uh, can I have a country where they are? Afghanistan. Maybe, uh, Afghanistan. <laughs> Let's keep it light. Uh, <laughs> uh, and can I please have uh, somewhere there's like a shop specific within Afghanistan? Oh, Ox farm. Ox farm. <laughs> <laughs> a very large brunch in Afghanistan. Uh, lovely. So, uh, Pierce Brosnan, uh, Dobby the house elf, uh, they're looking for a pink elephant uh, in uh, the Ox farm uh, brunch in Afghanistan. Uh, <laughs> what could go wrong? Right. Lovely. Chapter one. Pierce Brosnan entered the shop looking rather expectant. He just sent off one of those exchange schemes where. And then. All of a sudden, a house elf appeared, and he wondered why 
it was real all of a sudden. Oof, the house elf came out of the cardigan. Piers was shocked. Nothing in his spy training had trained him for this. Harry <laughs> <laughs> said, Dobby is lost, said Dobby. I was looking for Harry Potter. But he's not here. But I can't help you with that. I don't know him. But you must know him. Harry Potter is famous. I've never heard of him, said Piers. I was never asked to appear in one of those films. <laughs> Anyway, get out of that cardigan, I'm trying to try it on. It's not, it's not really your size, is it? But then again, you're wearing clothes, so does that technically mean you are free? So Pierce took all of Dobby's clothes, so Dobby belonged to Pierce. So Pierce could tell him exactly what he wanted. Uh, are you going to accompany with the... Oh. Dobby! <laughs> I'm surprised how long that lasted. <laughs> I'd sit in the chair if I were you, don't think it's against TD stand up. <laughs> so, chapter two. Having taken all of his clothes, Pierce Brosnan sought after Dobby and instructed him to go and find a pink elephant. Where will I find the pink elephant, said Dobby? Well, of course, Oxfam, said Pierce. So they went on their way to the nearest Oxfam, which was just where they were. This <laughs> quest is already off to an odd start. And they're in the shop we're looking for. Maybe we should just see if they've got some soft toys lying around. No, said Piers. I want a real pink elephant. So they went outside of the store and all of a sudden Voldemort appeared and said, Hey, what are you doing? You looking for a pink elephant? And they said, Well, actually, yes. Can you help us? And they said, No. <laughs> Elephant said Voldemort. There is nothing in this world less likely for me to stumble across than a pink elephant. Basilisks, manticores, other mythical creatures are all available in the aisle next to the car. <laughs> <laughs> but never a pink elephant. Why don't I sell you a normal elephant and spray it pink? Said Voldemort, who was all faking being evil and everything. <laughs> Magic, and he didn't need spray, so he just magicked the elephant pink. But then he didn't decide. He decided that he didn't want to. Die! Have a seat. Okay. So, chapter three. Oh, um, the Voldemort guy. He says, "I can magic a witness." Ladies and gentlemen, when we come to the last two, we find that this will go on for a very long time unless we take certain steps. And the step we are elected to take is to have this now be a rap battle. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the gig wasn't white enough. Um, so, uh, basically, what is going to happen now, Alan is going to drop a beat, Doug is still going to be pointing at us, and Dave and I are going to have to rap battle our way to uh, a win in this game. Yes, <laughs> Uh, lovely, so go ahead, Alan, when you're ready. Yeah. Oh, Voldemort, he doesn't like elephants. They always hang him up. He had to go and set something and then he drank it out of the cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This next game is called Styles, um, and it basically revolves around you providing us some uh, genres, some styles of films and uh, plays and things like that, and then uh, Tom and Alan are going to act them out. But before that, we need a reason for them to meet up. Buying a car. It's usually a date, or buying a car. Buying a car. Buying Alan's a car. buying so a car off of Tom. Alan is buying a car off of Tom. I like the um, But we need, excuse me for looking at the piece of paper, I've got a list. We need some genres from you. So we need, first of all, two film genres. Hong Kong. Black comedy. Film noir. <laughs> yeah, um, we, well, dark comedy we'll go with. Film noir. Yeah, okay. We do. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be monologuing again. Excellent. Okay, so dark comedy and film noir. And we need a theatre genre. Puppetry. <laughs> Please, 
come again. <laughs> Puppet tree. And we need, um, what do we need? We also need... TV genre. Thank you, Tom. You're TV right. genre. <laughs> Uh, so a TV genre like soap opera or yeah, no, you know, or just name a TV history. show and they'll do it in that Captain style. Just... Man, she wrote. We can't follow. I'm not going to. I'm not going to have Cap Scott or Jeannie. Mr. Tumble. She wrote. Mr. Tumble. Let's go live. Children's TV. Mr. Tumble. So Tom and Alan, you are buying a you are buying a car off Tom. I will stop you at various points and change the genre, and then we'll see what happens. Hello, I'd like to buy a car, please. Absolutely, sir, absolutely. Here is uh, seven pages of paperwork. I need you to fill in first. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. That just gives me power of attorney. That means I can turn you off if you're on life support. <laughs> this is the bit that says you want to buy a car. Can you just sign that? Stop dot comedy. Leave ah. the pen with blood. <laughs> 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 so you want a Nissan Micra? Yes, please. I need to carry the body that I have. <laughs> I have more than one body if you drive a Nissan Micra. It's apparently controversial. Here. It's only small. <laughs> have you got a lot fit in there? Have you got one bigger? Yes, yeah, just that bought it. Whoa! Very nice. Lovely. Stop film noir. He added the water and the car got bigger. It was something I wasn't quite expecting, but I just went with it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed like an easy customer. Didn't seem like he was going to have a lot of questions, so I thought I'd take him to the next level and see what else I could please him for. <laughs> so that's a million pound of your watch. Well. A little steeper than I expected, but this guy seemed all right. I had to ask him one important question, though. Does it have an engine? He <laughs> was on to me. I realized none of the cars in this lot had engines. Puppetry. <laughs> it doesn't have an engine. Oh! <laughs> well, I've already signed it. Yes, you have. Ha ha, sucker. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe you'd like the other car that's over there. <laughs> How about this one? That looks nice. Feels good. <laughs> you like to kick the tires. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, they're solid. <laughs> good. What would you uh, would you like to buy now? I think I'd like to sit on it first, if I, if I can. Okay, I'll open the door. Stop. Murder, she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you wanted to put a body in the boot? <laughs> well, just the one. <laughs> Plenty of space, as you can see. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I put it to you that you're the murderer! <laughs> I think you, you must be mistaken. It wasn't me. No, I know it is because you said so earlier and I've got it signed here. Oh. <laughs> You're good. You are. I know. <laughs> Stop. Right, to finish this scene, we need some more details from you. Um, we need an accent for Tom and Alan to continue the scene in. Stop. South Africa. South Africa. Welsh, because it's at David's name. I'm going to go with. Geordie South African. <laughs> I don't know if either of them can do that. Okay. Uh, and I need a number between three and nine. Six. Six is good. Thank you. And a letter of the alphabet that isn't X or Z. Q. P. Or Q. P. Okay, so to continue the scene, first of all, you must continue this murder mystery car buying episode in a... Geordie Or closest approximation. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I'm man! <laughs> You'll think that it was me that done it, but I'm actually Cheryl Cole! <laughs> I knew I knew you was from somewhere. <laughs> Someone else said something. <laughs> I don't know if I know you, though. Jamaican. <laughs> Stop. What I'm on there is, subconsciously, 
they absorbed every action <laughs> of them all at once. Um, right, now, um, Alan, you have can only now finish this scene in, word, in sentences that are six words long. And Tom, you may only conclude this scene in, what letter was it? P. 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 In words that begin with the letter P. <laughs> and the Geordie accent. And the Geordie accent. So, you who this stuff is Geordie accent is not a thing to know. Player, please. <laughs> I knew you were trouble since... <laughs> Pa! <laughs> How very, very, very dare you! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, I would like this car, please. <coughs> Perfect. <laughs> Do you have the keys for me? <laughs> oh, positive. <laughs> Allow me to try it first. This next game is called Rescue Me. It's going to feature all of us. Um, I'm constantly getting stuck to things. Um, the other time I was napalm to a fire extinguisher. Um, I've been jismed to a hedgehog before. <laughs> One time I was stuck to an ice cube by sitting on it. It's, it's, a, it's a hard life. Um, so I need from you, what am I stuck to? Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee? <laughs> yes. Um, what am I stuck to Bruce Lee with? Porridge. I heard porridge. I heard porridge. <laughs> Bruce Lee with porridge. <laughs> Oh, it's time to start a healthy breakfast, Bruce. Here we go. And the milk. I won't eat it up this time. Uh, I don't see any problems. But... Oh no! Oh, look at that. Ah! Dave, it's happened again! Time to go and see if Alan's ready for the gig again. He was already <laughs> there last time. Would you believe he velcroed himself to an elephant? Hopefully he's ready. Oh, it's happened again, hasn't it? Yes, you have had an eventful breakfast. Is that a nunchuck? Yeah. <laughs> it's Bruce Lee. Oh, I, I can see that, yeah. Uh, he wasn't fast enough. How did this happen? <coughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Mainly because I just did it, and if I explain it again, they might get bored. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> well, if you just try picking it off, then I suppose I have no fingernails. Oh, I'm going to have to go on one of those quests again, aren't I? Please. <laughs> All right, just stay there. All right. <laughs> I'll go and try and find you whatever it yeah. needs to be to remove polish from uh, polish. <laughs> polish. <laughs> if it was polish, wouldn't have problem. <laughs> polish from Bruce Lee's chest. Thank you. Uh, Very to nice free chest. You up. All right. Don't move. Yeah. So off he goes, uh, and on his travels, he goes to a place. Where does he go? Narnia. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, where in Narnia does he go? Like a shop or a, a venue of some kind. Rex. Right. Greg's <laughs> <laughs> in Narnia. Just a big one. <laughs> it's about five. Hello, hello, well, I'll just hang on. I haven't even set off there yet. Welcome to Greg's. How can we help you? Well, I My just, name's Tumnus. I was looking for, for an outfit to wear for this quest, and I just fell through the back of this water. Tumnus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like a snake, mate. Well, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew it. You can't kill the animals of Narnia for steak baits. This is an exclusively vegetarian bread. <laughs> That's fascinating. Yeah. It's the fact that you both can be, um... Yeah, okay, um... Well, alright then, I'll have a vegetarian bag. Um, listen, I'm on a quest. Alan's got himself stuffed. Oh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time it's Bruce Lee and porridge. Oh. You wouldn't have to know about the porridge removal. Well, we've got porridge here. Uh, I mean, this being a vegetarian, Greg, you haven't got the lake of grease you would usually get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think he needs more porridge, though. I feel that would be setting it in the opposite direction. Oh, yeah, good point. He needs porridge remover. Oh, yes, yes. It's like so, nail varnish remover, but for porridge. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, uh, normally, golden syrup or something. Yes, golden yes, syrup. Golden he syrup. Needs gold syrup. Where yes. can I find that? Ah, uh, the golden yeah. syrup volcano. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing sounding place. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Which way is it? Ah, that way. Fantastic. Yeah. You okay. see that up there? That volcano? Yes. That's golden it. syrup. Fantastic. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. 
Narnia types. <laughs> <laughs> so on his way to the Golden Syrup Volcano, he goes through a movie genre. Uh, which one does he go through? Martial arts. Standard. Makes sense. <laughs> Sidekick. <laughs> Rasta Mouse. Gerald Butler. It's not fictional. Rasta Mouse. 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 So it's <laughs> Boris Johnson and Rasta Mouse. It's <laughs> really stings. Hi, Rasta Mouse! Squeak! This is my friend! <laughs> <laughs> when Boris Johnson came to reggae! <laughs> Happy 
you like to be? Oh, oh, it's beers being being swapped roles by mistake. <laughs> yes, yes, massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. I, um, I was wondering, I need some of this golden syrup to extract Alan from Bruce Lee. Oh, yes, 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 golden syrup. Well, uh, you appear to have all over your shoes. Oh, <laughs> I needn't mean, have come all this way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, oh, I'll yourself. <laughs> um, although it is, it's got all mud and bits of it. Can I borrow your guitar? Oh, 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 oh,
which only really makes sense. <laughs> I see. And um, when you've constructed these woodlots, do you sell them to anybody? No. 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 Name. Uh, mine. All. Mine. All. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What a, what a disturbing guest. Now, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, the show, we usually take questions from the audience. Um, so, would anybody like to delve into the fascinating world of uh, Alan's Woodlouse Kingdom? What's the biggest you've made? Ooh. I'd say about 2,000 inches. Does <laughs> 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 anybody else have a question? How long, on average, does it take to sculpt the Woodlouse? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been living? <laughs> I'd say approximately to the minute seventeen hundred thousand seconds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's that in hours? <laughs> well, we just don't have time to do the maths. <laughs> one, one more question from the audience about this. this. Have you ever tired of reproducing woodlands? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, sometimes I get a bit, a bit lonely and think of doing grasshoppers <laughs> but too much hassle they are noisy and ugly <laughs> with their huge legs and wings and grass <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's, there's, there's one question burning in the minds of everybody watching at this late hour, which is uh, if we would want to start recreating our own woodlouse, where would we begin? Ooh. You must not spit on the wood lice models because you will ruin them. You will have to use your tongue. <laughs> to lubricate the materials <laughs> or you use your friends tongue <laughs> <laughs> there you have it ladies and gentlemen reproducing woodlouse it's all about using your friend's saliva <laughs> you learn a lot there thank you very much <laughs> Game's called Work My Job, which means Alan gets to leave the room. Yay! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every single month Alan manages to get fired from his previous job, but because he's got quite a full CV at this point, he manages to get hired again almost immediately. Uh, therefore, tonight he has a brand new job, unfortunately, he doesn't know what it is. Uh, can I have a suggestion as to what Alan's job is this evening? Psychologist. <laughs> That's an actual job. Um, <laughs> yeah, because bear in mind that last month he designed roller coasters and last night he was a pet hypnotherapist. Uh, so we're looking for slightly wackier than sorry, just, just, just psychologists. Uh, something a bit more unusual, anybody? <coughs> Treacle taster. This man is on fire. Uh, treacle taster is what his job is this evening. Uh, in order to taste treacle, ladies and gentlemen, he uses a very unusual tool. Uh, can I have a suggestion as to what that tool is? A forklift truck. A forklift truck. Sounds about right. Um, <laughs> and also, every month he manages to get a job working for a different celebrity. Uh, so can I have uh, an example of a celebrity? Perhaps a classic movie star or someone like that? Marilyn Monroe. Outstanding, Justin. Uh, lovely. So, uh, this month he is a trickle taster. Uh, he uses a forklift truck and he works for Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Ideal job. Uh, can I have a suggestion, ladies and gentlemen, of a leisure activity, something that you'd do if you had a day off, like golf or surfing? Practicing uh, your mime skills. Practicing our mime skills. <laughs> 
you use your days off and like anybody else, Paddy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, we're practicing our mime skills. Good. I need it. Um, first of all, let's... Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's, uh, uh, see a little... Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, it'd be a dry game if we can't actually speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how's the uh, how's new job? Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good, it's good, yeah. yeah. Uh, enjoying it? Oh yeah, much better than the last job. Is it pretty sweet, yeah? I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, uh, how long have you been working there? You know, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just getting into it. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just getting into Fair it. Um, so what sort of thing are you doing? Oh, well, it's not dissimilar to any other job, but also quite so dissimilar. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's very much every other job, but it's different in its own ways. Very <laughs> <laughs> unspecific at the same time. Indeed, indeed. <coughs> uh, hopefully somebody will come in and give us a clue. You can only help. Yeah. Uh, I've got a, a telegram for you, so it's from your boss. Oh, yeah. well, it's competing only bad yeah, things. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Lion. He just said, stop. I think he's deceased. Deceased, uh... Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my mind skills have got good. I dropped that guitar in my mind and it just happened. Yeah. Woo. Sorry. Um, <laughs> just in from the office. He wants you to just give this guitar a lick, see if it'll work as a new flavour. <laughs> Yes, it's good aftertaste. Good aftertaste. Good. That right. does not help end the match. I'll be honest with you. Clue. I don't think those two clues refer to the same thing. Have you seen the rain outside? Rain. The cut window. It's yeah. raining down. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Solid. Uh, <laughs> no liquid. Well, it looks solid because it moves so slow, but it is actually a liquid. Yes. I learned that in my job. Uh, and uh, what is your job? No idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's to do with flavours. Yeah, of treacle. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make you a treacle saw. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you to invent a word. <laughs> Uh, well, you know that he loves treacle. I do. And uh, what did he make you do with the guitar? Made me lick it. Which would mean what were you trying to determine? The flavour of the treacle. Oh, my treacle tester? Yay! Yay! Oh, treacle taster. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, so, uh, you enjoy treacle tasting? Well, it's very tasty. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Mostly. Absolutely. I mean, there are some awful flavours. Shoe flavoured treacle <laughs> is absolutely fine. I'll, I'll be honest, I was surprised to learn guitar treacle was going to be good. But anyway, um, <laughs> listen, uh, do you have anything you use in order to taste treacle? My tongue. Yes, obviously. Any, yeah. Anything to get it say, out of the bath and into your face? And sometimes. There was one time where I just, you know. Yeah. But, uh, that hurts your back. After exactly. That, yeah. <laughs> you need something to raise it up. And it, it's, it's got a fairly good surface tension. So. <laughs> just getting the nest punch in. His mind skills are better than ours. <laughs> <laughs> he even made a peak. That's impressive. That's quite impressive. Uh, Good. That Good. Was, uh, he's, he's clearly picking up the next batch. I, I would, I would hope so. Yeah. Need more. Yeah. I mean, basically, I'm, I'm concerned about your career path because at this moment, it seems to me you've got one of two options. Right. It's as if there's a fork in the road. Relieved <laughs> 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 to hear it. Uh, it looks like Dave's about to be back with it. <laughs> it doesn't beat when you're going forward, does it? No, no it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not. It's not. If you could just like. Coordinate your mouth to the right height, I'll deliver the lap. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Those of you who can't see through bodies, this is an excellent line. Excellent. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Can we have a new stage? Yeah, there we go. Um, so, Alan, what do you do for a living? I taste the treacle. Yeah, and what do you use? A knife truck. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you use? <laughs> a forklift. Hooray! Uh, now, uh, I hear your, uh, your new boss is really something. He or she is just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've heard she really, really plays it up in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. that sounds like her. Yeah. 
And uh, not all there in the head though. No. Nope. Flickering. Like a candle in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> just just um can you just confirm you've seen that memo from your boss about shutting off all the vents in the laboratory for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all yeah, them. all of them. I know that was embarrassing, very embarrassing <laughs> incident. Oh, right, okay. Okay, but as long as you've seen that. And I've got a new confectionery for you to test out. Uh, I know that it's, uh, it's it's wobbling quite a fair amount. Uh, you notice uh, it'll be good. It's, uh, it's spring flavoured jello. Literally, jello on springs. Oh, didn't actually taste anything there, just mime it. Is that a bit too deep? <laughs> There's a chance that is very deep. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try that. Bonjour! Hello? Bonjour, I'm missing something. Oh yes? I'm looking for the role that belongs to me. The role that belongs to you? Oui. Ah, your, your role? Yes. Or in French? My role. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen it? Uh, no, I think you're going to be there. I will go and find it. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> I'm in the club about this. <laughs> Alan, what do you do for a living? I taste treacle. Yes, you do. And what do you use? I use a forklift. And who is your boss? Marilyn Monroe. Yay! Yay! Uh, you the next game? Uh, this next game is called Missing Words. It's going to feature Tom and Hannah. And they're going to be acting out a scene, which I'll get from you in a moment. And during the scene, they're going to ask you for the next word that they're going to say. So they'll go like this, and then you provide a word. So let's do a practice. Hello, my name is... Jam. Jam. My name is Jam. <laughs> We're all clear? Yeah. Right, um, I need from you guys um, a shop on the high street, uh, like a, a baker's or a bank. British Heart Foundation. British Heart Foundation. Where the charities? <laughs> really raising awareness for that. <laughs> yeah, free gig. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? I hold the bag of all my old clothes, and I was wondering if you would have it. Ah, yes, some of these are quite nice. Uh, yes, I'm sure we could take that. Have, this is a baby grow. How long have you had this? <laughs> I don't like to talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else? Oh, yes, I've also bought my... Chair. My chair. Right. I decided I just don't like sitting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice chair, that. Nice chair. Yeah, it's quite yeah. light. Yes, quite light. Does it have a habit of breaking guitars? <laughs> it's the only ones we take around here, apparently. <laughs> it does, actually. Oh, does it? Lovely. We'll take that. Lovely. Thank you. Then you might want my shoes as well. Shoes? Oh, I haven't seen a pair like this since... Yesterday when? Well, <laughs> since we're the birds of the bird. It's, a, it's a, a, a religious holiday of my own. <laughs> <coughs> yes, it's always always a pleasure. We exchange gifts and punch each other in the face. It's great. <laughs> uh, so, uh, anything more? Yes, I've also got this strange thing. Oh, it's quite large. It looks a lot like a innuendo. Innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of uh, plenty of range in the British Heart Foundation. Always nice stuff to buy. Uh, do like in the window, we've got three space shuttles. Space shuttles. <laughs> uh, NASA, NASA was getting rid of them. We said we'll take them. Never know when they might come in handy. Yeah, NASA's so nice. <laughs> no, right, no, just to, 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 loads of money. They just said they didn't need. Um, so there's the space shuttles. Are you interested in space travel at all? Yes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> uh, that's convenient. Uh, <laughs> in that case, uh, do you? Do you do you want to uh, pick a space shuttle? Pick a space shuttle. I think I'll take the... Discovery. Pink. The pink one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the Discovery myself. <laughs> I don't know the actual names of them. No, no, that's, well. that's fine. That's, fine. <laughs> that's, fine. Okay, why the that's pretty much why we painted it pink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a bag? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done with that bag, we'll have one of them. <laughs> uh, anything more? I mean, I could always tempt you with a... Dalek. A Dalek. <laughs> I can't go well with my pink 
It would, it would, something to attack with. Um, <laughs> the problem with it, but I've said this to NASA for years, the problem with the space shuttles, no weapons. Not enough weaponry. You've got to have a Dalek gun and a plunger. <laughs> <laughs> Something you've revised since it's yes, fallen yes. that window. It's going to make the exam really difficult by it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, so you thought you were a student in modern history. Uh, what do you like doing? Uh, Morris dancing. Yay! <laughs> This man is a gift. Uh, I'm delighted it's by it's your friend. Excellent. I'm delighted that you're here. Uh, uh, so you like Morris dancing. Um, what do you not like? Lager. Lager. Really? Okay. Um, what was your go-to drink instead? Please Lager. say creme de <laughs> Well, no, you said I have to choose something else, won't you? <laughs> uh, say a bitter. A bitter. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't drink, I don't know what any of these things mean. Um, uh, is there somewhere you'd like to particularly go and travel to? Uh, Russia. Russia? Any particular part of Russia? Uh, St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, lovely, fair enough. And um, finally, anything else you feel we ought to know? Uh, <laughs> oh. No, no, I, I don't want to pull my heart out. You ever, you ever killed a man? <laughs> <laughs> I sworn to oath on this. <laughs> well, there's nothing official, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to say no. You'd have, you'd have to say no, fair enough. Um, <laughs> we, we saw a cup of that. It was Ben St. Petersburg. Yeah. Um, no, no. Um, uh, in that case, uh, where are you from? If you're not, uh, Peterborough. Peterborough. Yeah. Fair enough. You're really uh, big on your towns that begin with Peter, aren't you? <laughs> 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 uh, lovely, Matt, we're going to sing a song uh, about you, a, a duet song. Uh, I'm not going to do alternative verses, I forgot to have this conversation with him before the gig. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, lovely, uh, so you are Matt, you are a Morris dancing modern history student, you would like to go to St. Petersburg, you don't like Lada, but you do like this. Yeah. Good, outstanding. Here we go then. Oh, 
Matt, please tell me Why did you pick modern history? I'm not dissing it, it's a question to <laughs> curious. Oh Matt, he doesn't like lager It disagrees with him when he's on the shit car <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, you want to go on holiday. Not just anywhere you want to go to St. Petersburg. Yeah, that's the way. You like in your spare time to do Morris dancing. You're not content with just any old regular dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, I know the thing you fear. He knows the thing you fear. It's every day you seem to lose another year. <laughs> How are you ever going to study for that exam? You'll be sat in modern history and you'll be muttering, God damn. <laughs> What's about to happen is we're going to try and do some quick fire adverts for you before we have our interval because we thought that was the best place to put them. Uh, obviously, we received no money for this, and you'll see why when the suggestions come in in a moment. Uh, so, basically, what I'm going to need from you, ladies and gentlemen, is roughly seven <coughs> examples of products or services that you'd like us to do an advert for. Treacle jellyfish. Treacle jellyfish. We may be sponsored by Treacle tonight. <laughs> uh, treacle jellyfish is apparently the first one. Uh, can I have some more, please? Criterion. The Criterion? <laughs> fine. <laughs> I mean, you're already here, we don't really have to sell it, but fine. Um, uh, more? Factory Farm Caterpillars. What was that one, sir? Fencing. Fencing. <laughs> French farm. That, that, that fencing all uh, we'll, we'll work that out as we get it. Uh, what was yours, John? Battery Farm Caterpillars. Battery like Farm Caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how many is that? Morris Dancing. Morris Dancing. <laughs> Apparently other people are doing our callbacks tonight. This is going to save a lot of time. Uh, that's five. Can I have two more, please? Literally the first thing that comes into your head. Pick it now. Seating for basements. Tiered seating for basements. Tiered seating for basements. Terrorism in the Arctic. Terrorism in the Arctic. Terrorism. That does make more sense. <laughs> so it's nothing to even attack. Yeah. Uh, tourism in the Arctic. Is that seven? Yeah. 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 Uh, Leanne, uh, she's going to shout them out in any order she likes, and we will step forward and do an advert. Got any stolen goods? <laughs> <laughs> But I put up these garden panels. Right. On guard! It's <laughs> <laughs> very difficult actually. It is. Yeah. I'm always that panting. <laughs> Treacle jellyfish. It, it just falls apart. It's very really sticky as well. Here you go, isn't that lovely? Oh, it stings! Want to put your kids off sweets? Uh, 
Hi, I'm all inclusive. Could I get some ice? <laughs> Are you bitter and want a holiday that reflects you? <laughs> I can't afford to buy an ordnance survey map. Take this A4 piece of paper and go to the other. <laughs> Do you want something that's just miserable? <laughs> Did you overpluck your eyebrows? <laughs> 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 Seriously, buy drinks, we need to appease the last after night, apparently. Uh, and other than that, use this opportunity to go to the toilet or go and smoke. Uh, don't do them all at once, you'll hurt yourself. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, round applause on the first time! Oh, yeah. 